everybody. It's Wendy over at Weijo. Um, it's been a long, long time since I've been live here on Facebook. And I figured I would do a very impromptu one. I'm going to wait a couple minutes, see if anybody does hop on. I don't know if anybody will, because it's not like I announce these things. Obviously, it's very, very impromptu. Um, I'm home, and I'm in my workspace back at the house, where I'm going to be painting all of the furniture customs, as well as for the store. And I was using... Paint Couture's embossing medium. I believe now it's one of their textures, and I think now it comes in a smaller container, but I'm not positive. And I'll put my app link in um, the comments after I'm done, because I don't have my laptop. And I don't know if anybody's on. I will not probably see comments, because that's how Facebook rolls. But you might see a dog. So it's their embossing medium. They do crust and embossing. And... I started filling in little tiny cracks for this custom I was doing for, for somebody. I was like, you know what? Hmm. It's been a while. Why don't I show it? So I said to self, okay, let's do it. And then I ended up with a blister. Don't ask questions. We don't need to know these things. Anyway, <clears throat> so the embossing um, texture medium can be used for, of course, lots of things. People use them for their raised stencils. Um, they use them to put a little bit of texture in their, their art either on furniture or on canvas, it could be used for anything. I like to use it when I have little tiny lines that just need to be filled in for a clean paint job, and I'll show it to you. Um, let me see if you can see. So like here is a little tiny line, oh, wrong way, oh, shoot, it's been so long. So like right here is a little tiny line, you can sort of see it here. Um, there's a whole bunch, let me move. <clears throat> Because I'm going to have to move you. I don't think this thing will move properly. There is a whole bunch of lines all down this. So as I fill them, you'll be able to see. Most of this piece is already done. And that's when I finally dawned on me. You know what? Yeah, let me go ahead and show it. So basically, this is a very messy job. And here comes my dog. Um, this is a very messy job. I use my fingers to do this because it's just so much easier. Ella, what are you doing? Oh, she's my shy one, so she probably won't come in here. So I'm going to just move you up. And if you do pop on, let me know. Maybe I'll see comments. Maybe I won't. If not, I'll go back through them afterwards. So to do little tiny cracks, which is all that's in here along this whole piece. Where am I? I'm over here. I use my finger. I just dip it into the embossing. This will dry your hands out. You probably should use gloves. I don't do that. And then I just go through and I press it in. So you can probably see now, dun, dun, dun. you can probably start to see where some of these lines were because they're showing up white now on the, on the screen, hopefully, if it's all going right. And that will, what that does is gives you a nice smooth surface to do your painting. And since this is going to be painted into a cream, I think it's the Angelica, if I remember correctly, without looking at my paper, um, I want a really smooth surface. Blacks and creams tend to show everything, and I don't want this cracking after I've already painted it, because that's just messy. And it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. It's not my type of work, so I like to make sure everything's all to the best of my ability anyway. So when you have these little things here, I just take my nail, and I don't worry, I get mu as much as this excess off as I can, but at the same time, I'm going to have to come over this lightly with the sander anyway to smooth everything out. I'll hand sand it, but I won't do that until tomorrow. So I just go through and make sure I have them all on this side anyway, and that everything is all kind of filled in. Let me move you back just a little bit so you don't get my head in your way. Make sure there's none. Yeah, you should probably wear gloves if you're going to do this because you will end up, it does dry your hands out. It's just, I'm not that smart. Okay, so that part's all done. And there is a couple parts up here that I want to get. So I'm going to move you back just, let's see, I want over here. I want you to see. Da, da, da. Camera's backwards. I am never used to that. I'm going to put the camera right there. So hopefully you can see this spot here. And you just kind of push it in with your finger. And it fills it right in. 
Sometimes you have to go over it twice. You will know once you do the light sanding, depending on um, where you're at in the world, depends on if you're going to need, if it's going to be sanded same day or not. I'm also going to fill in these nail holes because they were driving me nuts. And I did them on all the other sides too. All right, so that part's done. And I can squish you out just a little bit again. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the lines here. Probably not, so I'm going to have to pull you back in. There you go. Now you can see the lines here. So that's when I get my little tool out. And I start going the opposite way of the line. Some people will go with the line. I just go the opposite way. And I wipe off whatever I can. Now this is a very sturdy wood piece. So there was like, there's one, two, three. I think there's three slats underneath here. Two big slats underneath here. So it's like super, it's solid wood. And that's where these lines came from. And somebody might say, well, that's latex paint. I can tell. Yes, this is latex paint on it. Whoever painted this did a phenomenal job. And that paint is not coming off. So I feel comfortable painting right over it. Now, normally I would not. Normally you do have to remove your latex um, paint because it peels. I want to say this is latex. I don't know. I'll primer it after I do this. Um, for better adhesion for the water um, base paint, just to be on the safe side. But there is no way that this paint is ever coming off. Let's see. Yeah, I can't see comments. Sorry, guys. I don't even know if anybody's watching. But that's all right. Once I have this uploaded, I'll jump onto my own computer and... Um, put my affiliate link. You can get the embossing right off of that. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. I'm going to move this around a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. You saw my post earlier. I was pretty excited because I got my taxes done. So I get to start creating all over, like creating stuff again. I'm very pleased with myself. All right. And if I could see everybody. Oh, I have a slow connection. Isn't that fantastic? Great. That's lovely. So maybe this won't even play right. Oh, well. Can't say I didn't try. I might have to have my husband put my booster on so I can do lives back here. It, this is not far from where my um, internet is, so I really don't know why my connection back here isn't always the best. It's literally right around the corner. So if anybody has any ideas on that, please let me know. All right, so I think I have this all done. I already did the top. The other sides are all done. Let me just kind of peek on the inside here. There's a little bit here that I need to shove into. There's a little bit down on the bottom. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. Down on this side. What I just saw. And there's a little bit on this back bit. Yeah, so I think that's all done. So get yourself some embossing. Um, it is low. There goes my phone. Um, it is great for filling in the little cracks. You could do ray stenciling with them. Um, all sorts of cool stuff with it. So I usually recommend going with the bigger. I do think it has the smaller, but as far as I'm concerned, the um, bigger jar, which is, what is this? 16 fluid ounces. I think you get more... It's more worth your dollar to get the larger one in this case because you will use it for all sorts of things from ray stenciling to this little thing that you don't you wouldn't even think of doing with it. 
at least I didn't until, I don't know, I've always done it, but it, normally I don't think you would think of this stuff because you hear so much about wood fillers, but this works really well. So in any case, that is my quick live for today. I might be back on at some point um, tomorrow to start painting another piece. We'll see, depending on how my primer does with me. And I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.